black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. I right, y'all, a big old sack of Wendy's, something I have not hit in a long, long time. I want to say I haven't had Wendy's in probably like a year. Now, there is some reasons for that, but we'll get into that shortly once we crack into a sack and see what I have in here, okay? Now, he's in a bit of a mood today. He's a little drab, a little macabre, if you will. Perfect time to talk about maybe Halloween killing horror movies and such and stuff. Okay, let's see what I got. <laughs> Behind door number one, a sneaky little honey mustard sauce. When you get a classic crispy chicken wrap, of course. As per usual, he craves them every day. Not hamburgers, but cheeseburgers, of course. This is a double bacon deluxe. Dave's double bacon deluxe, actually. And then he's got a hot, steamy treat known as a chili cheese fries. And then, of course, he's got his own sauces on the side. We got sour cream, mayo, and a little Valentino. We're going to dress things up just a little bit here and get to step in. Oh, yeah. Also, I have a very large medium size. Apparently, this is medium, which is crazy to me. It does not feel like a medium. It feels like a large. Uh, I got Fanta because literally every other soda selection was just out of the machine. And it was one of those digital ones where there's like a thousand selections. So... Another reason why I really don't go to Wendy's that much because it has gone <clears throat> down the fucking tubes for a while now, but there's reasons. I'll, I'll elaborate. Sometimes you specifically ask for extra tomato and pickle and you get one shitty tomato. Another reason why Wendy's is not my guy anymore in life just because I can't get the standard amount of tomato that should be on the burger, but then you ask for extra and they give you less than the standard amount. What? All right, we gotta address these chili cheese fries with a little bit of sour cream, of course. I just love sour cream with chili. Who doesn't? And maybe we'll address uh, the fact that, you know, like I said, I woke up on the wrong side of the sack today. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you just have days where you wake up on the wrong side of the sack. You still try to make the best of said days. This is also Valentina sauce. But, uh, you know, people say, no, no, life, it's just, li life's so beautiful, you should never be mad, you should never, that's not how life works, okay? There's a spectrum of emotions, there's a spectrum of feelings, there's days that don't feel as good as others. Can we not just have that anymore, like this, the world that we live in, like, just, like, being sad is cancelled, being depressed is cancelled, being anything but just good vibes is cancelled, right? Like, having an opinion is cancelled, anything but that. No, 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 that doesn't, those don't exist. Those emotions don't exist. It's only happiness, gratitude, and it's beautiful. It's not how life works. <laughs> it's like, you're entitled to have a bad day. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, now that I got that off my chest, and just, you know, you know, just to let you know you can have one, we're going to switch the vibes to just more better vibes. Okay. So, chili cheese fries, obviously these are a delicious... Uh, vibe razor, if you will, <laughs> a little mood razor. Maybe won't raise the mood later, you know, down, down old toilet lane way uh, a few hours from now, but at least for now, mood razors. I suppose I'll say that. The influence for this video is definitely coming from my guy Snoopy Eats making his little return back to the to his channel. Yeah, small small hiatus, but he's been coming back with some videos and he had I can't remember if it was all Wendy's or he just had went. He definitely had cheese, chili cheese fries from Wendy's. And some other stuff. But he was talking about the new Halloween movie. Which I just watched. Two nights ago. And, uh. He got into a pretty deep review of it. I won't say too much other than because I know it's still very new and I just don't really want to, you know, I'd let you guys, I don't want to screw it up for anybody, so.
I'll just say my opinion on it is that it was to me rather boring. Pretty uneventful, just not a just not like a great great watch. So, you know, if you're debating on spending money to go to the theater, I would say just wait till you can watch it at home. Or stream it off a stream site like I did, which is, if you want to know it, Flixtor, F-L-I-X-T-O-R dot video. It's on there for eight, at eight on HD right now, so if you got a laptop, computer, whatever, just hit that up there. It's a shame to me, though, that it sucks because, well, here's the thing. I don't really love scary movies. I kind of grew out of them as I got older. I liked them for a bit when I was younger. Eventually, they kind of stopped doing anything for me. Um, that being said, though, Michael Myers... I was allowed to watch Halloween, the original. Which is obviously the best one. You can't beat the first. It, uh, I was allowed to watch that when I was like four or five. And Michael Myers, that version of Michael Myers, terrorized in my mind for years. He, to me, in life, was in fact my version of the Boogeyman. 100%. And any time I've been like alone, late in the dark at night, or even turning the lights off, in the basement to go upstairs. His face is the face that occupied my terrorized mind. Until I was old enough to just accept that he was never going to kill me. So Mike's my guy in the horror genre. That said, though, it's like since the first one, they've all been subpar to me because it's like Home Alone 1. Like, there will never be that first hit of that first, like, whoa, this is amazing. It just never, will never happen again in the sequels. All right, let's bring in the main event. This is what I <laughs> really was truly craving. A double. Now, here's the thing about Wendy's. One thing that I that I don't like that they did is they changed. They used to have iceberg lettuce, like crispy. They went to leaf lettuce. Bad deal, my dudes. But I've always liked a uh, loaded deluxe bacon burger from Wendy's. And like I said, going double. Not a standard typical move for me, but I don't know why. Some, we just want to go to Wendy's. I feel compelled. So. The reason why Wendy's is like not really a hit is prices are pretty up there. 
but mainly it's just because, and obviously it's a fran it's a franchise issue, right? It's not Wendy's across the board, but the one in our city just has staffing issues. I don't think they can afford to pay to have enough staff, so they run a lean staff. So for example, I was just in there, it was pretty busy. I think they had four or five people working. Five people working at a fast food joint. is generally not going to cut the mustard because you got drive through, you got window, you got people on till up front, you got the people that have to make the food, you got, you know what I mean? And that's why McDonald's is so successful is because when I was at McDonald's the other day, I went inside I counted 22 heads back there. So it's so systematic. So that's why McDonald's is so, so successful is because speed, accuracy, efficiency. They got someone for every station, but they can afford it. Because they're so popular. Because also, I would say that McDonald's has the upper hand also on Wendy's just in terms of food-wise too. Like it's just better tasting food generally. In my estimation. We're talking operations today. <laughs> it just is what it is though, unfortunately. There are circumstances, right? And they're probably doing the best they can. Whoever the franchisee is, the owner, or owners, they're just trying to survive. Not go tits up, not go under. In a tough market, food's a tough market. Those profit margins are real slender. That's why food business really is not smart to get into. It's a labor of love. I'm gonna tell you what, that burger hit me like a brick. I am immediately like just super full, but I still gotta rip a bite out of this. God, that's too much honey mustard. <laughs> How often do you see me say that? You know what I mean? We, we pulled it back though. Just a crispy chicken classic wrap. Cheese Lettuce Ranch. But yeah, so I've been binging over on Snoopy's because as two Canadians who lived close, like, we've both been jonesing to get Wingstop. I've just never been able to have Wingstop because I don't have Wingstop. We no longer live that close anymore, but where he's at, finally a Wingstop was available. So he finally got to do a Wingstop video, which... I've always wanted to try Wingstop. And uh, he confirms 
that that Wingstop Ranch is the bee's knees, it's worth all the hype. Which that's half the reason I want to try Wingstop is for the for the for, to try the ranch. The wings do be looking good, but I think it depends geographically where you are. Like some people's look really big. The ones in Canada I've heard are pretty small. As far as your fries go, miss me with the shits. I can tell they're hand cuts with the skin left on. They're like very home style. Not my deal at all. I need a crispy crunchy fry. But if you like wings stuff it is. Go check them out. I can't. I'm absolutely that burger dominated me. The double patty. So heavy. Alright, all in all, food is pretty enjoyable. I feel a little better now. You are allowed to have a bad day. Just remember that. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Also, how do you feel about sequels? I personally got beef with sequels most apart. I just feel like they just never it's very rare for there to be there to be a good sequel, you know what I mean? And then they just start taking it way too far, and then it's just sequel, 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 sequels. And next thing you know, you have nine Fast and the Furious. Like the Hangover didn't need how many were those? Three or four of those. You know what I mean? The Hangover could have just been a standalone movie, just a one good movie. But you know, they get greedy and they succeed and. They need to go more and more and more. And that's just what happened with me with Halloween over the years. I was just like, another one, another one. Halloween is basically the DJ Khaled of sequels in the horror genre. It's just another one, you know? So it's overkill, pun intended. And uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, you know what to do, you get to live well. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.